So back on the Model A, next up after the doors and the latches are all figured out, um, I was gonna get onto the footwells and the firewall, but something that's been sort of bugging me with the way this chassis is set up um, for the style of building build that we're doing. Number one, stance is a little bit too high. Number two, because the stance is too high, motor's too low. Right now, I don't know if you can see, but oil pan and tranny oil pan are about two and a half inches lower than the frame. And um, if I'm gonna take a little bit out of the suspension to get the look that we want, keep in mind this is getting like a track nose on this Model A. Not a lot of Model A's, especially 3031, that have the track nose. Partially, I think, because the cowl is so flat, the nose of a track vehicle usually, you know, traditionally would have come down a little bit. That's why track T is sort of the most common. Um, and there's a couple of uh, 29s where their cowl comes down a little bit. It looks pretty good too. But there has been a couple of 3031s that have been made that are super incredible. So that's what we're trying to hit with this build. Having said that, engine mount, has to come up so that the motor, you know, the, the oil pan isn't so low. Transmission has to come up a bit too so that the tranny pan isn't so low. We're gonna bring the front suspension down by, you know, two and a half inches at least. So we're gonna remake that front cross member. While I'm at it, I'm gonna make some nicer looking shock mounts. Motor mounts right now are just the, um, you know, regular stock small block Chevy style motor mounts, super basic rubber mounts. You can get energy suspension ones, we use those too. Being an early style hot rod, I really like the, um, the Ford flathead puck style mount. What I mean by that is they're like basically the size of a hockey puck chunk of rubber. They have a flat pad that just, like the engine mount sits directly on a rubber puck and then a bolt goes straight through that. For a Chevy style one, you can get them. I went to the parts store today, they didn't have them in stock. I thought maybe I'd just pick some up. If they had them in stock, it would have been sweet. But they didn't, so it's all right. I made these ones and might have holes in them. Um, anyway, so this is what's gonna happen. I'm gonna replace this mount with this and I'm probably gonna have the puck right around the top of the frame and that's gonna get my two and a half inches of lift for the engine mount. And then the transmission, because it's a 700R4 transmission. This frame's meant to fit turbo 350s, turbo 400s, and uh, the 700R4 transmission pan is a little bit wider on the passenger side than the turbo 350s. It does not fit within the X frame that's built into this Brizio chassis. You can see right there, you're touching right down here. So I'm gonna have to notch that out a little bit for that transmission. Basically right now, I just want to get the motor and transmission up to where they're going to be so that I can make my firewall and have the exact clearances that um, I need to know so that the firewall fabrication goes exactly according to plan. Likewise for the footwell fabrication, it needs um, to know exactly where the transmission is going to be so that that area can have the right clearances for it. So here we go. my second time recording this because I was talking to a phone that was off. <laughs> Here's the uh, engine placement. We're up a little bit higher than we were. You can see hopefully underneath, transmission pan is basically in line with the bottom 
of that X member, which is what we wanted. The oil pans for sure weigh, weigh tons of clearance. There's no nothing that's gonna hit that. So these engine mounts that we've made, the donut style, these are these are replacement flathead Ford ones. They're not like transdap ones or anything. These are actual Ford replacements. They're nice. They're actually like a hollow rubber. The next piece is this pad. This pad that's gonna hold onto the bottom of this mount. So slightly above the frame, I'm gonna design it, uh, you know, with a couple holes in it, make it look somewhat stylish. That's up next. So, motor and transmission are mounted back in place, bodies bolted back down. The mounts turned out really good. I'm stoked on how they uh, how they went together, how, you know, how I fabricated them. The X frame needed to be clearance. It did have to cut off a little bit of the tube, which I don't mind. I boxed it in nice and smoothed it all out. Uh, it's just kind of what had to happen for the wider transmission pan on a 700R4 in this Brizio chassis. I also had to move the transmission mount. I did utilize the Brizio mount it used to be a two bolt flange just bolted um, with a tube. I ended up making a, uh, a plate that had that bolt pattern on it and mounted it that way. Hopefully you can see it. Camera kind of messed up a little bit when, uh, when I was doing it. Uh, yeah, you can sort of see the mount there. I'm probably gonna box the top of it in a little bit, but uh, we'll do that the next time it comes apart. And underneath we've got lots of clearance. Tons and tons of ground clearance. We're not gonna be hitting any speed bumps. We're gonna lower this thing a little bit. 
and uh, and that's gonna be awesome. It's gonna look better. We're not gonna worry about uh, hitting anything. The engine also being a little bit taller just looks better in the engine bay, I think. We also have clearance here. I did have to move the motor. I tacked it in and then realized that it was a little bit tight to the firewall. So I did move it so that this, this is just a mock-up motor, so don't mind the dirty engine. I'd like to keep this factory roll in the firewall. I think it looks kind of cool. It's not necessary, but it's just another contour. So I'm utilizing this rolled part of the firewall um, still, and I'm just gonna build a new front of the firewall and a new distributor cove. Right now, I'm not gonna have the clearance for the, uh, for the valve covers. I got lots of clearance there. That's kind of what my point was. So now it's just firewall fabrication. I'm gonna bead roll the firewall kind of with the same pattern. We've talked about continuity before. You know, inside the car, everything's sort of in threes, right? We've got all these shapes that are rounded and um, and separated by, by bead rolling or by, you know, dimple dies. So I'm gonna do that same pattern and similar to here, similar pattern on the firewall so that everything looks like it was made by the same guy this guy and then a cove in the center so a cove for the distributor and then probably a bead rolled panel here maybe a bead roll either three or four panels you know a panel 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 something like that so that's coming up next engine and trance is in we're just picking them off one at a time so uh yeah everybody have a good day